Good day Grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson on finance growth and decay. In this lesson we're going to be looking at compound depreciation. So compound depreciation is also known as reducing balance depreciation. So let's just remind you, straight line depreciation is just your simple interest depreciation whereas reducing balance depreciation is your depreciation using compound interest formula and the compound interest formula for depreciation is exactly the same as the normal compound interest except that there is a minus why because the amount is getting smaller and smaller and other things all stay the same your p is your principal your a is your amount your i is your interest in the decimal form and n is the number of years so let's do an example it says the number of oyster catchers that's a type of bird in the western cape is decreasing at a compound rate of 15 percent per annum that's quite scary if there are currently 5600 birds what will the population be in three years? So we've got A is equal to P, 1 minus I to the power of N, right? And we know that the principal is the amount of birds we start with, which is 5,600. We know that I is the interest, which is going to be 15. We've got to change it to decimal. So we divide by 100, which is 0 comma. 1, 5, and the n is the number of years in this case, which is 3. So if we substitute n, we've got a is equal to 5,600 times by 1 minus 0 0.15 to the power of 3. So we get out our calculator and we clear it and we go 1 minus 0.15 equals and we multiply it to the power of 3 and then we times it by 5600 and we see that we've got 3439.1 birds so that is 3439.1 birds and obviously you can't have a point one of a bird so we're going to round it down so therefore in three years we are only going to have 3439 birds or oyster catchers which is actually very sad Right, let's look at another example. A business buys a photocopier for 180,000 Rand, which depreciates at 5% per annum on a reducing balance. And it says, what is the value of the photocopier after four years? Right, so let's have a look. We've got A is equal to P, 1 minus I, all to the power of N. We know that P is the amount of money we paid for the photocopier, which is 180. Thousand, your I is 5.7 percent per annum, so it's 5.7 divided by 100 to get it to decimal, so it's 0, 0, 0.57, and the N is 4. Right, let's substitute in. So we've got A, which the amount of money we'll have, or the value of the photocopy for four years, is equal to 180,000 times by 1 minus 0.057 all to the power of 4. So we get at our calculator and we clear it and we go 1 minus 0.057 equals to the power of 4 equals times 180 one, two, three equals, and we end up with 142,337 and 48 cents. 142,337 and 48 cents. And that's how much we'd get for the photocopy after four years, which isn't too bad. So grade 11s, that's how we use compound depreciation. Please make sure you know how to do this. Do some examples, lots of examples, and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.